a SNES inspired rogue platformer. Eagle Island looks gorgeous, feels great to control and has some superb accessibility options, making it a great title for platforming fans and Switch lovers alike. You are tasked with saving one of your owl friends who has been taken by a giant evil bird who lives on Eagle Island. This is naturally a bird themed adventure by all accounts, even attacking is done with your other owl. The story is harmless and stitches gameplay together well enough, just don't expect Game of Thrones level storytelling. Well, season 8 aside. Visually, it is a real standout in the Switch's library. Since when is pixel art a rarity, you ask? Well, it isn't, but Eagle Island allows you to customise how it presents itself, meaning you can opt for a pixel style, a smooth glossy finish, or even add a CRT filter to everything. I love that such a simple but brilliant option is included within the game. It really shows just how much care and attention has been put into Eagle Island. Visuals mean nothing though if the game isn't good, and rogue games live or die by how they utilise, well, their roguiness. Each playthrough of Eagle Island gives you a brand new seed, including the official campaign seed. Dying in one of the dungeons within this seed regenerates a whole new one, similar to methods employed by Enter the Gungeon and other such games. Your upgrades that you attain are also reset upon death into each dungeon. Difficulty can be crushing at times, and tedium will definitely set in, even when the levels change. A lack of checkpoints only further enhance this. Time must be invested in order to get the most from Eagle Island. World generation is fairly well done, in part just because of how good this world looks. Most of the levels I played were well made and competent, but seeing similar landscapes again and again does little to help prevent a hint of boredom creeping in. Especially if you're failing the same dungeon again and again and again, it is very easy to slip into this. Attacking is performed using Koji, your of Owl, and utilises a twin stick system to allow you to aim and throw him at enemies. A recharge on attacks mean you can't just throw aimlessly. Each must be calculated and take into account enemy trajectories. Variants of attacks are unlockable, but beyond this the concept fails to evolve beyond a rudimentary level. A real shame. The enemies you will fight possess both unique attacks and movement patterns. Enemy variety is a massive strength of Eagle Island. Unfortunately the bosses are relatively underdeveloped and rather lacklustre, leading to underwhelming boss fights. It is a shame as they have beautiful designs and so much more could and should have been done with them. Defeating them provides you with new abilities, such as swimming and double jump. These are abilities which you do not lose upon death. This then allows you to explore new areas of the limited hub world, accessing secrets and new levels to explore. Rune stones allow you to customise your abilities too. These include increased health, a stronger jump and stronger attacks. They are a pleasant and easy way to enable customisation and imposing a 4 rune stone limit ensures you can't become too strong by maxing your health and damage. When you die, these are the abilities that you lose. Accessibility is a massive issue in modern gaming and Eagle Island has some of the most superb accessibility options I've seen in games, let alone indie games. Both visual and control options are available and can be tweaked according to personal desires. Outlining makes the important aspects, in this case characters and platforms, stand out more. Reducing the backdrop acts in a similar way, and you can even enable auto-aim, or switching the aim into the right stick if it suits. There is even an ability to slow the game down a little bit. Essentially, Eagle Island seeks to let as many players as possible enjoy and have fun. It certainly isn't perfect, and several flaws prevent it from becoming a must-have game, but it still remains a well-made title and well worth a look into. It manages to nail gorgeous visuals with tight controls and gameplay incredibly well. Eagle Island, for this reason, earns a Nindy Nexus full heart. If you enjoyed this review be sure to stick around and subscribe, be sure to let me know your thoughts on Eagle Island in the comments, are you going to be picking this one up, have you already picked it up? It is releasing today on the European eShop so if you are interested be sure to go check it out, it's going to be available for $20 and aside from that thank you so much for watching this video, be sure to stick around for more indie focused content and reviews, my name is Tom, also known as The X, The Project and peace out.